In comic book mythology, an origin story is an account that reveals how a character gained their powers in the circumstances under which they became a protagonist or antagonist. In nerd culture, every person has an origin story that set them down the path of being a lifelong nerd. These are their stories. Welcome back to Eat Sleep Nerd, a nerdy origin story. We're trying something new here on this podcast, where we're going to be doing an interrogation of one of our hosts. And first up is Christian James, suspect number one. <laughs> <laughs> so we are playing off the Law & Order theme because I have Nick here, my detective partner. <laughs> All right. uh, so I have no idea how this is going to go, but I want to dive into our nerdy origin stories because all six of us here on this team have very different backgrounds when it comes to nerdy things we nerd out on. And so, Christian, I don't really know where your origin story starts, why you are here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you better make it good. That, that's you're telling. You're so, off the show. Yeah. Let's just kick this off. We're going to dive right in. So, interrogation question number one. Yes, Christian, uh -huh. what is your first memory, all the way back, however long ago it was, where you first remember nerding out on something? Well, um, my brother was the oldest one to make requests for different things, especially for like his birthday and Christmas, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, because mainly parents are just like, you're getting what you're getting, you know? Uh, Same. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember him asking for a lot of things. And I remember like my aunt was really uh, adamant and playing with us at the same time. My biggest memory back in the day was when we were playing Mortal Kombat, like the first one. Mm -hmm. um, he was whooping me. <laughs> <laughs> no matter who I chose, I was not doing well. Um, but I remember my aunt jumped in and, uh, she was just smashing buttons, like kind of like I was, like everybody was doing back in the day. My brother was such a nerd that he was, he figured out all the combos, but, um, uh, she was facing my brother and by smashing buttons, she beat him. Okay. And that's how I usually beat people. I'm yeah. I, do. I mean, um, but somehow also smashing buttons. She figured out one of Sub Zero's finishers, and we're like, "How does <laughs> this, this accidentally? Happen? Yeah, <laughs> this accidentally. That's wild. Just, just did as one of his finishers, and um, I just remembered like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> like, I don't know if I, I ever achieved something like that. Um, How old were you? I was probably <sighs> elementary school, <laughs> some point." Uh, maybe like those ESRB ratings doing work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the parents didn't really care about like what we were watching or what we we're doing. Like we, we watch wrestling all the time and that was pretty gory back in the day. I'm sure, you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> my mom was a huge like sci-fi channel nerd. And, uh, no matter like what movie came on, we were always watching it. Like, so that's why I got introduced to uh candy man, which till this day, if you haven't seen the original Candyman, <laughs> I can't watch it. Jesus, I can't do it. Wait, <laughs> it is. It's terrifying. It gonna... Terrifying. It was a good movie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, before we go any further, what are just some things you nerd out on in general to this day? To this day, you are under oath. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you really can't make this stuff up. Wait, do you have a Bible? We can make them. Oh, oh uh, yeah. do the thing. No. 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 What is that? What is that called? What is that that oath called? Swearing. <laughs> is it just a swearing? I thought it had a name. Like um, the Miranda rights have it's a name. Oh yeah, we didn't read the Miranda rights. Ooh. Well, he's not arrested. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not being detained, am I? For 24 hours, yeah. <laughs> Fair. I'm not sure what that name is. It's fine. Go ahead. It's fine. Do you swear to tell the truth, whole truth, number of the truth, to help God? Yes. Good. <laughs> why, why was there hesitation? <laughs> Continue. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, all the nerdy things. So, I know photography. Mm-hmm. So, it's just starting there. What else? Um, I guess we're, we were all in band, uh, mm-hmm. which is probably like the biggest thing I nerd out about. Um, I'm sure we, we all have a, a love for music and things like that and different aspects. You're an actual music teacher. You teach music every now and then, <coughs> even though you don't have to. True that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I don't teach music, but I just, I listen to all kinds of like aspects of music. Um, and it, it's, it, I feel like it has developed me in that way to listen to like all aspects of music. Cause my dad was a, uh, DJ Whoa, okay. for a long time. Um, I'm not sure any specific places. Uh, but I remember I'm in, in high school. He used to DJ at this Caribbean club here in Huntsville and Dang went there a couple of times. So that was really interesting. Because like... <laughs> Yet again, how old were you? <laughs> uh, again, high school. So there was okay. just like... I remember... Uh, I think it was my junior year. Um, I, I, I wasn't doing anything. I had no plans on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> and then my parents was like, all right, we'll be back. Going to the club. I'm like, what? what what's happening? My parents are going out to the club. I'm not... Okay, what's, whatever. Um... But yeah, he always used to play music throughout the house, like every weekend. So sleeping in was not a thing. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was like a, a, a mashup of like uh, old school, like R and B, um, funk, uh, all kinds of different reggaeton and all that other stuff, just playing throughout the house. So, like, I, I took on. Um, a lot of different genres of listening to. Um, yeah. And as, of course, if you know, we made a video a couple of weeks ago about me doing drum corps. Yes. And I think no matter where you are or where you go in drum corps, you are the nerdiest nerds in band. Cause you took it a step forward. <laughs> you paid for it <laughs> and you, you paid for it and you went in the drum corps. Um, I did, I did it three years in a row and uh, it was uh, a good time. So what made you want to join marching band specifically instead of just like playing an instrument as a hobby? Well, um, I guess in middle school band, you're really not thinking about marching band. I just thought about being in band. That's See? where all the people were. I was different. I joined the middle school band because I wanted to go and be in the marching band. I just had to do the middle school band first. Yeah. I don't think I've ever thought about that. Like hmm. I didn't either. Like I, no. the marching band was not. I didn't. I don't think I knew about it, truthfully, because I we I never went to high school football games. Like, yeah. I just I was like, I kind of want to learn how to play trumpet. Hmm. Like that, yeah. yeah. It was pretty I much it. Make, yeah. It was kind of like a suggestion from my parents too, because I know my brother was. He's like four years old to me, so he was already in high school at the time. Um, in marching band, never went to a football game because I like during middle school I was also playing football as well, so uh, didn't really have the need to go. And I knew my brother was playing instruments, stuff like that. So I got to put me on to playing something. Uh, and you like this. So signing up for a band, I uh, I wanted to be a drummer. Of course, okay. everybody wants to be a drummer. I know that. And then my band director, kind of like Jedi mind tricked my parents. was like, do you really want to hear that? In band your directors house? like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't second guess it. They were like, yeah, you're right. You're playing trumpet. And I'm like, oh, okay. Mr. Dowdy, Dowdy tried very hard to get me to play anything other than percussion. He did not want me to be a drummer. Interesting. Yeah, I should have um, held my my stance on it. I might have been a different person. You'd I don't be, know who that you person would was. be. Exactly the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's yeah. marching band. Put a lot of time and effort into that. Mm-hmm. So wh- how, where did photography come into play? So, when I was in college, I, I, uh, uh, what's it called? Switched majors a lot. <laughs> As anyone As we does all did, yeah. in college. Uh, first, I was a music major because 
Uh, my high school band director was really awesome. He he went on to do a lot of amazing things after he left uh, Buckhorn. Um, so he kind of inspired me to go into music education. And then I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Good move. Good yeah. move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I made some transitions and ended up in like sort of like a business marketing degree. Um, so I picked up the camera to do more like social media marketing because mm-hmm. around the time social media was banging, things were coming out that involved social media a lot mean, yeah. and it's still going. So I wanted to get into that. So do more like um, small business marketing, like helping out small businesses. Cause like back in Florence, there was a lot of small businesses. So uh, there was a lot to do. And so my idea was to get in there, do the things they were looking for to do and all that. Um, but the first place I tried was the place I was working at. Uh, come to find out they didn't, weren't really interested. And, <laughs> and uh, with me working at the same time, I didn't have any time. And I was kind of discouraged to not continue with that. Uh, and so like, I just put it on the back burner. But um, I had a friend, your friend, our friend, friend of the show, Andre. Yes. He was getting married. And I had been taking pictures probably for like a good six months, like on my my camera. Really figuring it out, like, because of what, what I wanted to do. And uh, Andre was like, you still taking pictures? I'm like, yeah. That was your first wedding? And Andre's wedding was my first wedding. Oh, wow. I was there for that with with not <laughs> that long into photography. <laughs> I was like, I'll drag different friends out and take their pictures and in different scenes and this and that to get really used to what I was doing. But I wasn't really preparing myself to do a wedding. Because like that's got to be like right because that's, yeah, you know, it's one day. Sometimes it can be big money. Yeah, and you don't get to like reshoot stuff. No, you know, you, it's got to be because like. These are going to live forever with yep. with these people. They're most important days. Yeah. That's- and, yeah. And there were certain, certain aspects of, of the day that, or at least leading up to the day that I was kind of taken over. I don't know if you could hear that from him. Um, so I was just like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But doing the day and then like doing all the stuff that I was doing leading up to and then afterwards really sold me on doing it. And again, my brother had been doing it for a very long time. I didn't think I was going to be able to, or not be able to, but like get into it like he was. Cause you already been doing photography since 2010. Maybe I started in 2017. Yeah. I think Andre got married 2018. Or something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Best friend. Right I asked the questions here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, 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 it definitely blossomed after that to uh, start doing photography. And what a way to do it. The deepest end you could probably get into in photography. Did all go well? It did. It did. Um, Well, sort of. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) Sort of. Okay. So, obviously, weddings are on Saturdays. Um, Friday was good weather. Mm. And we got into Saturday raining all day. See, I don't remember the rain. You don't? No. That's why we were inside the entire day. It was raining. I just thought that was the plan. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> uh, Whoops. It, yeah, the thing was, like, we were, yeah, we were supposed to take all the group photos and family photos in the park. It was uh, right there in uh, Big Spring Park. Oh, that is true. <laughs> but it was raining. It was like, it wasn't even like hard rain. It was drizzle, like hard drizzle the entire day. It was just annoying. It was really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's why we took pictures uh like on that one floor in the hallway ah uh, yes because it was raining okay okay so yeah I'm gonna <laughs> shows you how good of a detective i am i remember details oh yeah yeah, um. yeah I, I just remember that because it was such a it was such a long day especially getting into it. it i mean it probably wouldn't have been a big deal if it was a shorter day but it was a very long day it was a very long day i do remember that yeah but yeah it, it has bloomed into six years of doing Weddings and other things. And what's your what's your uh, what's your company called? <laughs> As I've said, my brother 
does photography. And uh, he he's already taken James and Co. He does it with his wife. Okay. And uh, so obviously, Just say it. do you forget? Just, no. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I think that's a story. Lady. It's that's a story. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, <laughs> I had to think of a name. Mm-hmm. The best name I think I could think of is the other brother photography. Follow them on Instagram. On Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. Yes, follow me. So, so it's just, like. just you? Just me. Right. Um, I do... Um, no company. No James and Company. No James and Company. Well, I yeah, I do. I have second shot for my brother uh, a couple of times. That was fun. Uh, especially like some other like bigger weddings. And... Uh, Did you get a fair share? A fair cut? Yeah. Especially for the experience level I was at at the time. <laughs> I was Fair like, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need to bring your brother in here. Ask why you guys can't just work together more often. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. um, James and company. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it would make sense, right? A little mm-hmm. bit. But little uh, bit. He, he's, he's, he's sort of the lone wolf. All right. I mean, it's a thing. It, I, got under, I get it. It's a thing that he does with his wife. It's cool. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> It would be nice. So you've hired Christian to do headshots yes. before. Bless Seems you. like a conflict of interest, but it's fine. Uh, how <laughs> the best interest yes. was he? A, was he a, a solid photographer? Absolutely, was it a good experience. Um, lots of good ideas. Um, really, really fun to collaborate with. I think that we kind of bounced ideas off of each other, and out of that blossomed, you know, really cool ideas and stuff. Um, that day, I remember the weather was really hot. It was really, really hot. Do you ever shoot <laughs> yeah. a shoot in good weather? Um, it, was weather. it was just hot. Okay. Like, yeah. It was the sun. <laughs> trying to think. Actually, nope. <laughs> it was incredibly cold that day. Never mind. Um, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. I did shoot a few in decent weather. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, I mean, it, it was it was a lot of fun. I've got. Uh, I still. I use. It's all okay. You're not on trial stuff. here. You can say the well, truth. It's, it's, I am if he sucked, good. he sucked. Hey, yeah, it's fine. I, when when have I ever not told you that you sucked when wow. when when you when you did? There's been some true. times. I've literally never done that. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, I mean it was it was great. It was it was very affordable. I got um, my my pal Hunter got his uh, headshots as well with you. Oh um, yeah, Florence. Yeah, I've heard about that. And um, we need to do. He wants to do some new ones, so we'll need to. Get mm-hmm. together about that. Right on. To do our Can't do. sleep nerd headshots. Yeah. I was just thinking doing? about that on the way over here. I'm not paying for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's free. That's, uh, <laughs> I guess. That's, that's in-house cost. Uh, so, photography. Mm-hmm. Marching band. What else? What else you got? I, I guess it really goes into uh, back into music. Okay. Like, um, I've, I started making, I guess like everybody does. Everybody does this. It's fine. But the way I'm thinking about it, it's special. Um, I made a playlist of all the, what well, it's called, uh, all the funky jams I found along the way. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't necessarily go to. Is that really what it's called? Yeah. All the funky jams I found along the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. So <laughs> It's not just down to like jam bands or whatever you, or whatever bands you would think that we, would be funky. Yeah. Um, but like I've had some, um, oh man, some old school jams in there. There's one, uh, by Barbara Streisand. I listen to every dime I leave work because it's such a jam. I feel like we talked about this before. I think so. Yeah. Like every single day. Yeah. Yeah. I leave work and I turn this song on it cause it's, it's such a, like a, a slow funk. But in the word, like the way that she uh, rhythmically sings compared to the the backtrack, amazing. It's like you know how some people have to have a cigarette when they get in the car. Yes, he has to listen to Barbara Streisand. Yes, Barbara Streisand is his cigarette. It's, his, it's his never would have known. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never would have known. Um, well, so and no, like it's on the internet, so that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and like on top of that, there's there's um, there's like two bands I've seen. I've gone to their shows like in the double digits. That's a lot. That's wow. like at least 10. Wait, yeah. Can I guess? Ooh. Wait, you said Ooh. two? Two. I'm going to say lettuce. Correct. And I think I have one. Ooh. Give you give yours. Snarky puppy? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
good detective. We got it. We got it. We got uh, it. It's yeah. it because it's always anyway, exciting. We'll share a badge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's exciting that they're when they're in the southeast at the same time because it's knocked two birds out one stand. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. there was um I forget how old I was turning. Uh, I think it was in my late twenties where uh, Snarky Puppy did a, a three show run. They did two shows in Atlanta and a show in Nashville, and it ran over my birthday. So I was like, well, know what I'm doing. <laughs> and went to Atlanta, saw their two shows, drove up to Nashville, saw that show, went home. It was a great vacation. <laughs> uh, but I think the farthest I've ever gone was Colorado to see lettuce, which was nice. Like you came from here all the way to Colorado just to see them. Then you came back. Correct. Did you drive or fly? I flew. I fly. I flew. I, <laughs> I flew. But the thing was, like, I treated it as a vacation because I was there the entire week. Um, I got there on Monday. They played on Wednesday, and I left Friday. I guess that's not bad. I went to go to the Carolinas to see Paramore. I mean, yeah, I get it. That's something. I get that, it. That tracks. That tracks. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, especially in those genres of music. Uh, the types of fans that that come out to see those shows are very different in okay, yeah. depending where you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cuz Lettuce is from Massachusetts, like most of the band members are from uh Boston and uh that was another one I want to do. Let's go to Boston or in that area where they're from. But mainly they play a lot of shows in Colorado, so I was like I got to go. I have the money. Let's go. Let us go. Let us go. And ah. funny enough, that's their, um, I guess, their origin story. Is that they were trying to make a name for themselves. Oh. Playing a lot. So there was just like going to every bar. was like, let us play. Let us play. Let us play. Well, let I came to that play. joke independently. So it's, I take credit for it. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's all I guess. <laughs> that's right. uh, but yeah. And um, so for like seeing them individually, I guess. Um, in like Birmingham is always fun. Nashville is always fun, but like Nashville, I don't know what it is about that city. All the tallest people want to stand right in front of me, right? All of them. I don't know what it is about me. They just want to stand right in front of me. It's It's not just just Nashville specifically. Just Nashville. It always happens. It only happens in Nashville. No matter what venue it is. Someone says boop right in front of me. You're not Uh, wrong. (laughs) Okay. So how many live concerts have you been to all bands all artists ballpark it does dci count mm, let's make that really a, a let's, let, let's make that a separate thing separate, separate thing. thing so taking marching band drum corps out of it like actual like band artist performances probably getting in the 40s good lord, good lord. i mean wow. good for you yeah but okay all right and it, it's only been like in since 2013. It's 10 years. So within 10 it's years. Math, good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> three and three, 10. <laughs> so in the last 10 years, I, I've probably gone to like probably almost 40 or over 40 concerts. Nice. But most, a majority of those concerts are the same two bands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <that's> fair enough. <laughs> So, partner, do you have any questions for him? I got some quick fire ones, but. Um, I mean, no. <laughs> come to me. Don't come to me. I've just been listening. I'm like a podcast yeah, listener. Let's, 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 yeah. Keep, uh, all right. So let's do some quick fire stuff. All what right. What is ready. your favorite video game of all time? Ooh. Um, oh, man. I was just thinking about this the other day. Um. Wow. It's on the tip of my tongue. Wow. You don't know that off the tip. Wow. Wow. Now we have to assume that you're guilty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. Oh, uh, man. It's a fighting game. Tekken? Street Fighter? Tekken. Tekken? That was, wow, that was good. Tekken. Spike people. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yes. we're Tekken people. Tekken. Tekken. Why is that? I don't know. Like, okay, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, cool and all. I don't know what it is about Tekken that... Spiced it up real good. It's like more fluid. Like it's yeah. more like human like. Like it, they fight. I don't know. The, they, everything kind of flows together and you got the bounce thing too. It's like if they hit the ground and bounce up, you can keep the combo going. Yeah. Which is not a thing that you can do on a 
the others. Yeah, I don't know what. It, yeah, it's very. It was very fun and back in the day. And it's three D. Yes, right because you can move around. Oh, right, around. that's right. Yeah, uh, it wasn't side just a side to side thing. Yeah. It was like you could pivot your body and move all around and yeah. things like that. Uh, yeah, it, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's a way more fun experience mm-hmm. okay. than the other ones. Okay. All right. What is your favorite comic book character? And a lot of us here know this one, but mm-hmm. just for the audience, who is your favorite comic book character? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I kind of cheated and said the whole. Um, you did Green Lantern Corps, <laughs> like the Green Lanterns in in general, is uh, it's my favorite. Um, what is his name? I was just watching a movie about him. As you will know, my memory <laughs> Take is notes. awful. Take notes. <laughs> Goodness. My memory is awful. So it's probably either John Stewart or it's John Stewart. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, the guy from Daily Show. Yes. <laughs> yep. That's the one. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> he is. He's a Green Lantern. That's cool. <laughs> that should be an interesting casting. Anyway, so favorite movie that you could watch on repeat over and over and over again? A movie you've seen hundreds of times. Your favorite movie? Hundreds. Super bad. Ugh. What? <laughs> that movie is hilarious every time I watch it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I don't know what they put in that movie, but I laugh every single time. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Like, the way they wrote their jokes, like, it's funny every single time. I couldn't make it. I think I lasted for like 15 minutes. I was like, I gotta turn this off. No. Like, I, not that bad. <laughs> I am getting dumb. <laughs> Watching this movie. Like, it, yeah, it definitely is one of those comedies that is just, wow. That is, uh, is graphic. <laughs> But I mean, it's not even about the graphic jokes. It's just like the the cadence in which they do those jokes. It's just funny. Got something to say over there? I do not. No. <laughs> yeah, you have this to rewatch is, it's it. It's not a tear maker episode. You, you so have no. to. You have to. I watch can't it. be as combative this time. <laughs> you, have to, you have to watch it. I'll let you live. Well, I mean, I'm assuming you're the bad cop. So yeah, but like, I don't... <laughs> you have to watch it. <sighs> I, we'll see. Have to we'll it. see. Have to Your job as a nerd <laughs> in this moment is to convince us to like this movie. <sighs> that's what nerds do. Bruh. They go so hard into one topic that they just can't let it go until everyone else is either on board or tired <laughs> of them talking about it. <laughs> like I said, the jokes hit every single time. Okay. Like, uh, give me a joke from that <laughs> show. Movie. Cannot say that on the internet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but if you know, you know. It's the one of my favorite scenes is when they're on the soccer field and like, we're talking about the party, mm. <laughs> and just the whole conversation of that is hilarious. If you know, you know. Um, you say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about favorite television show? Ooh, ooh! I have I have several, and one might be shocking. Give me all of them. Go for it. Uh, one of them is New Girl. Is it the shocking one? I believe that. Yeah, right. That makes sense. That tracks. Yeah, yeah. If you've seen New Girl, no, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's like it's one of those. Another one of those shows was like you have to get through part of the first season to really get into it. That's when they hit their stride, really. Uh, but the rest of the show, funny. So is that the surprising one? Yeah. Oh, that one. I mean, that makes sense. That's like, a good that's surprising. Yeah. 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 Do I look like a, a new girl watcher? <laughs> yeah. Or you seem like you would enjoy that show. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that didn't turn out well. All right. <laughs> um, and of course, like How I Met Your Mother. Um, good one. Uh, a lot of the... Uh, <laughs> when I was living... I was in college. Uh, me and my roommates used to watch like all those like animal documentaries all the time, like Blue Planet, uh, Planet Earth. Oh yeah, yeah blah blah blah. All the all those other ones. I love watching. Those. Meerkat Manor. Yeah, that one was solid. I don't know why. I just love watching them. Like zoning out, just looking at a jellyfish move across the screen. I think it mainly is David Attenborough. His voice is yeah. so soothing. Praise him. Did you ever watch Zabumafu on PBS Kids? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a show. What a show. <laughs> what, um, was, what, what was the lemur? Lemu? Lemur? Was it a lemur? The, the actual yes. animal. Was that a lemur? That's He's probably lemur. what a lemur was. Yes. 
Thank you, PBS Kids. <laughs> um, ooh, another. My mom put me on to this one. It's uh, my lottery dream home. Oh, my mom watches that too. Yeah, we watched. <laughs> right, that. Yeah. it's yeah. so good. It's crazy. I don't. It's. I think it's also the host that makes it. Boy. <laughs> 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 I, I've tried watching uh, like older seasons, and you can see the progression of his tattoos. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, his hair gets taller and taller. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, um, as a as a black child, you always think your parents are always talking about winning the lottery every day. Still do. Still do. <laughs> My mom drives to Tennessee. When she can mm-hmm. to go get her lottery tickets or her scratch offs, I have to go pick them up for my mom's. Yeah. I'm right there. I'm like right there. <laughs> Grab me two scratch offs. Okay. Yeah. Like, what are the two best, like, biggest things that people dream about is winning the lottery and designing their own home or finding their their dream home. Mm-hmm. Two two concepts in one. It's mm-hmm. beautiful. It's it works really well. Like as a, as a show concept, it works really well. <laughs> They just all people right. win the lottery and then yeah. they that's one of your house. top three shows of all time. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Cause it's like people win like a million dollars or like one guy won like $300,000. So he was able to upgrade from his like little rinky dink apartment to a better home, which is nice. Um, I mean, yeah, and then you have people that win like $50 million. <clears throat> I remember one episode, uh, this, <clears throat> this couple won a lot of money from the lottery. They, they found a home, which is what's, up on a mountain and the uh the sheep farm that was down below them they bought it because they had so much money and so they added on to their square footage of their home and there had just so happened to be more land above where their house was and they bought it and so they had like 730 something square feet of that square feet of acres. acres it's like that's a really tiny house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it says like 730 something like uh acres of land with their home that was already huge that's so it's insane. like like man that's the dream did they also Not really buy good. the sheep i think so yeah i think i mean yeah but there were animals live there you also buy those yeah mm-hmm. i think there were all the, also those kind of people like herders and whatnot mm-hmm. but yeah it was whoo how do you manage all that? Like, cutting the grass? Well, I think if right. you can buy all that, you'd probably hire someone to take care of it for you. I guess. <laughs> right. But, like, that's a lot. Some ranch hands. 700 something. Yeah. And, you know, I, I thought about that show a lot because it's like sort of a scam. Because <laughs> the host, he's showing these people these houses. They, mm-hmm. they, they pick between three different houses. Um, but he goes to a realtor in the town that I guess he talked to and then shows off the house. So it's like, What's happening it's here? Doing that commission? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the commission's rolling out. I'm sure the the realtor is getting all the money, but like, he I guess he's getting paid for the network. But, but anyway, I guess it was like, hmm, that, that feels weird because they're like, oh my god, thanks for showing us this house. I'm like he didn't do all the work. Yeah, <laughs> he was given an address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go here. This is what it has. Yeah. Just tell them that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> TV show <laughs> and TV. You're you're making the case against the TV show. Yeah, I, I am. It's okay, but it's a good show. <laughs> it's one of those shows that you can just go like, oh man, that would be nice. Oh man, except for the people that live in Florida. Just okay, whoa. In general. <laughs> Probably have some audience in Florida. Let's just they know. Yeah. Oh wow. They understand. All right. <laughs> they get it. I mean, it's nice. Is it? But is it nice? So who would you cosplay as if uh, you just could cosplay as anybody? Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Stewart. The Daily the Show Daily host. Show? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daily show, yeah. No, um, actually, I was watching um, uh, The Son of Batman last night. Okay. One of those DC animated movies. I have that one, yeah. Um, and Damien's like, I almost said karate outfit. That's funny. Um, his suit that he shows up in in the in the movie would be really awesome to cosplay as. Yes. Right. Yeah, good answer. Or even, oh man, I was actually thinking about. Um, I was watching the uh, the Flashpoint Paradox too. Oh, okay. And when you meet the other Batman, 
And I was like, ooh, that looks hardcore. Yes. Because <laughs> he has people. like a uh, five o'clock shadow and he's just in the Batman too with pistols. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd like to see that. Yeah. That was let's, like, let's make that happen. That'd be fun, actually. I'm sure Brittany could help us pull that one together. Oh, yeah. So, um, what else? What else do you nerd out on that you want to talk about? This is this is your moment. Oh, it's my moment. Yeah. For now. Until <laughs> we throw you in the hoose cow. Is that um, what it's called? I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. It's it's actually, cow. Yeah. Aren't you from Germany? Oh, yeah, I am. Talk about that. Did you forget? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my original story is that I was born in Heidelberg, Germany. Uh, Can't to, run for president, this guy. Can't do it. Or give blood. What? Is so that, that real? Well, wait, yeah. were you actually burn, burn, born in Germany or on a military base? All right, funny story. So, okay. I was born in Germany to Jamaican parents. Now I live in America. Um, so, when my brother was born, mom was in I think, the Gulf War. Is that what they called it at that time? In I guess the it depends on what you're talking in the, about. In the 80s? In the Middle East? Yeah. Yeah. Saudi Arabia? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Had him. Had him on base. Okay. So he's full American. Yeah. Um, Somehow, I was born in a German hospital. Wait, are you about to tell yourself about something? Do you need to not (laughs) say this on the internet? As uh, law officers, we are required to report you. (laughs) You're about to get sent right back to Germany. (laughs) No, I totally have my citizenship. Okay. Okay. If you say so. Mm -hmm. You say that so confidently. I have a... Social security number and everything. So do I mean you can get a social security number. That ain't a thing. If I've been here this long, <laughs> <laughs> y'all just be tripping. <laughs> yeah, do do better at your job <laughs> if you try to kick me out. That's fair. Um, Go ahead, I'm sorry. But yeah, so yeah, I I guess did I don't know how that works if you still have dual citizenship or you have to like register or something like I don't know. But I remember when I was like 18, my mom was like, yeah, you have the ability to have dual citizenship in Germany and the United States. But you're just a United States citizen. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm, I mean, just, I'm just wondering how that... Okay. No. Yeah, I wish I knew how that works. I mean, I've been meaning to look it up. Because like, if, if you were born not on a U.S. military base in a foreign country... Then you would technically be a you wouldn't be a citizen of the United States, correct? So they would have had to have naturalized you some some at some point when you were a kid, right? So I guess that I answered my question, okay. <laughs> and boom, <laughs> you're a great detective answering your own questions. <laughs> yeah. That's right, I figured it out. Great detective work, I love it. I always get to the bottom of it. <laughs> uh, anything else? I will say, even though we're. Um, I guess spotlighting nerdism. It's okay. Do it. I know I made my statement about drum corps kids being the biggest nerds. Um, It's okay. Because if you're willing to uh, learn a little something and continue that into your life, that's the best way to do it. Really nerd out on it and go for it. Just a public service announcement. Um, yeah, pretty much. Oh, cool. You're, you're still not getting off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being like that. Mm-hmm. Well, Christian, I think we end this one out by having you talk a little bit about your favorite drum core. And we can go all the way to the favorite show of all time if you want to. Oh, oh boy. Is this episode about to be an hour long? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as some of you know, I marched. Uh, Spirit of Atlanta, Actually, yeah, Spirit of Atlanta. Uh, in back in the day, but my favorite core, R.I.P. to their season this year. Oh, to the Santa Clara Vanguard. Sh- sh- yeah. The marching symbols. The marching symbols. Mar- yeah, one, back. one of the. Did few. they say they're coming back next year? Um, I hope they come back. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't think they had ever had a projection of when they were coming back. But oh. they, some... they released a. Um, I think it was finals day, maybe maybe semifinals. They had released a statement. Uh, saying that their plan is to come back. I think I said that their plan is to come back next year, but you know everything's yeah. on the table as yeah. far as what they're going to do. Yeah, it um, it it takes a lot to go on the road, and not just yeah. by the people, but by the money. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> As inflation goes up. Um, but yeah, Santa Clara Vanguard is my hands down favorite. Like what they do and how they, they do, do it. So cool. Uh, my favorite show, man, it's always like a, I guess it depends on which one I'm watching. <laughs> but mainly I always reference uh, 2001. Um, wow. Okay. I know it's a long way to go. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Um, that show. By who? Santa Clara? Yeah, Santa Clara. Okay. What was the name of the show? Um, Jesus. <laughs> that doesn't even know the name of the show, y'all. I think it was either New Era or <laughs> Sound Shape and Color. I do some detective work over there. Yeah, though. I'm gonna do some detective work. Yeah, do some detective work. Help me out to check your story. <laughs> um, but why'd you like it so much? Uh, it like. In drum corps, or I guess marching band in general, um, that there are, are spots that are meticulously picked out to make to have a crowd response, mm-hmm. to make their show overly entertaining, and um, and I felt like they always did the best. Okay, like everybody else, great jobs, great work, but. <clears throat> Vanguard always hit in the right spaces because um, scientifically, you know, the people that like can listen to music and have those tingles. You, you have you ever felt the tingles <laughs> listening to Lincoln Park uh, when it hits that special part in the yeah. brain? Yeah, you're right. Santa Clara Vanguard I didn't really me, call them tingles, but sure, they gave me tingles. All right, love that word. <laughs> And yeah, it was also like the overall uh, look of them, um, like the red and green and white, like coloring that they had in their uniforms. Yeah, uh, it was so cool. And then like they were they were always so badass in their approach of doing a lot of things uh, that I looked at over the years. Also, shout out to my high school band director for introducing me and. 2002. Ooh, you just dated yourself oh, so hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even in high school 2002. I was still in middle school. <laughs> I was in fifth grade. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, of course, I knew about Drum Corps before then because my brother, we went to the same high school, and so he was also giving them the same treatment as taking them to the Murphy's Sports show every year mm-hmm. after band camp. Um, but yeah, I first went 2002 and was just blown away. Literally. Yeah. Literally blown away. And uh, it just stuck ever since. But yeah, Vanguard always stuck out to me in the best way. That's a way. good one. That's yeah. a good one. All right. That checks out. That checks out check so i think if you'll agree with me i think he's innocent i think we can let him walk i think we've taken this metaphor too far but you ever show the <laughs> found the name uh, new era metropolis yeah oh yeah. he was kind of there i was i was there i was in between <laughs> <laughs> all right well i think this checks out sir you are 100 certified nerd you are Woo. free to go Woo. i should have had more detective phrases prepared for this but and then big general ones <laughs> <laughs> big general ones so nick thank you for joining us <laughs> <laughs> so glad to be here <laughs> christian thank you for nerding out oh yeah yeah and for all of the nerds still tuning in thank you for watching uh please send some comments christian's way if you have things you share in common with his nerdy habits uh but also don't forget to subscribe Click the like button, leave some comments, click the little bell icon so you always know when we post new videos. If you're listening to us over on our podcast feed, make sure you go follow our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at eat sleep nerd to find all of our videos. Uh, so, Christian, what are three things that nerds should be doing? I'm not a crook. <laughs> um, being your best nerdy self. Okay. Drink water. Mm-hmm. 
and then get through Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> but at the same time, eat, sleep, nerd. Take it easy, people. <laughs>